Hello everyone, this is Rohit Shankar Mane and you are watching Scientist Star Academy. Today in this video lecture, we are going to understand about rhizospheres. Let's see introduction. Now see, rhizosphere is the region of the soil in contact with the roots of a plant. Means the rhizosphere is the region which is present in between the plant roots and the soil. It contains many microorganisms and its composition is affected by root activities. The rhizosphere was first time defined by the scientist Lauren Hilner as a soil compartment influenced by the roots of growing plants. It is also called as a root zone, means a very narrow zone around the root contains root exerts and the microbes. Rhizosphere is relatively stable and it is a nutrient rich important one. The plant roots and the biofilm associated with the, them can profoundly influence the chemistry of the soil including pH and the transformation of mineral compounds. So in short, rhizosphere is what? Rhizosphere is the small region which is present in between the soil and root. For example, see this is the soil and this is the root. So in between this, in between, uh, in between this, this uh, soil and root, there is a small region. This region is called as a rhizosphere and this rhizosphere is very uh, stable in nature and this is a nutrient rich factor they contain much more nutrients this zone is also called as a root zone and this zone or rhizosphere is first time described by the Lorenz Hiltner okay so next point is the rhizo deposition now let's see what is rhizo deposition they describe the total carbon transfer from root to soil as I told you this is the soil region and this soil region is in contact with the roots and as I told you that rhizosphere is the region which is present in between the soil and root. So whatever the carbon, uh, whatever the nutrients, whatever the carbon is there, this all nutrients will transfer from root to soil, from root to soil. Okay. So this transformation of nutrients occurs from root to soil through the rhizosphere. Through the rhizosphere is known as the rhizo deposition. Plant roots secretes various nutrients rich compound into the surrounding soils. This process is called as a rhizo deposition. Rhizo deposition can amount up to 25% of newly fixed photosynthesis. The nutritional enrichment around roots it creates unique environment for soil microorganisms including the rhizosphere and the rhizoplane. It includes re releases came from secretion, exerts, lysates, mucilage and mucigel. They mainly include root exerts, mucilage, death and decay parts of root. Now let's see first mucilage. Now see what is mucilage. It is a root mucilage form a gelat gelatinous layer surrounding the root tip and is one of the few clearly visible signs of organic carbon secretion from roots. It, it's mainly composed of polysaccharides of 1, 6, that is 106 and 108 dalton in size. It's actively secreted by the exocytosis from the root cap cells. Alongside polysaccharides, it also re contains proteins and some phospholipids. So mucilage is nothing but the, for example, say this is the root layer this is the root and on the root there is a small layer on the root there is small layer this layer is called as a mucilage that is a root layer is called as a mucilage layer and this this uh, layer or this layer, uh, region helps to transfer the much more nutrients which are present inside the root and they are going to transfer to the soil next point exerts very important point Exodus are defined as diffusible compound which are lost passively by the root and over which the root extract little control. The dominant organic compounds in root reflect those compounds central to cell metabolism and include free sugars among as the organic acid. Next one lysate, the compound released of death and lysate of root cells. This is all about the rhizo deposition. The most important factor that is role of rhizosphere in my, of microbes. First one, rhizospheric microorganisms are important for plant growth. They promote plant growth by various ways as given below. Some rhizosphere bacteria as rhizobium, isotobacter, clostridium, etc. fix atmospheric nitrogen and makes it available for the plant growth. 
Many phosphate solubilizing microbes such as Bacillus polymyxia found in rhizosphere release free phosphate from inorganic salt of phosphate. Free phosphate is important nutrient for the plant growth. Several rhizospheric microbes produce growth hormone such as gibberellin, indolacetic acid, etc. that promote plant growth. Many rhizospheric fungi are associated with the plant root in the form of mycorrhiza. Mycorrhizal fungi promote the plant growth. Rhizospheric microbes induce development of lateral root, root hair development, and mucilage secretion from the plant root. Some rhizospheric microbes produce antibiotics and other antimicrobial chemicals that inhibit the plant pathogens. Microorganisms also increases the rate of exert secretion. Exert secretion from plant root helps in the formation of soil aggregate that improves the soil fertility. Thanks a lot. This was all about the rhizosphere.